In death as in life, he was a master of ceremony and disruption, his presence drawing crowds. Outside the Cathedral of Milan, the city that made him and powered his rise to the top, fans of AC Milan, the football team he once owned, gave their final goodbye. A final glimpse of the man who became an unshakable force in Italian politics, remaking it in his own image. A source for some of inspiration, for others, infamy. Even the National Day of Mourning declared in his honour and the state funeral were, for many, too much of a tribute for a leader known for his brash style and sleazy scandals. But for his supporters, a fitting tribute to the man known as Il Cavaliere, the Knight. When a man is a character, he is always on stage. He has fans and detractors. He has people cheering for him and people hating him. Silvio Berlusconi was certainly a politician, he was certainly a businessman, he was certainly a character to the fore of celebrity. His departure leaves behind another struggle, that of the survival of his party, Forza Italia, one of the parties that make up Italy's coalition government, one that the Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni depends on for the survival of her premiership. For all his controversy, Berlusconi managed to unite Italy's right-wing parties and facilitated the rise of Meloni. But in recent times, he was increasingly at odds with her. Without Berlusconi, the government finds itself in a fragile position. Meloni needs 17 senators from Forza Italia to consolidate her coalition government's majority. Key to maintaining support will be Berlusconi's daughter, Marina, who oversees his business empire as well as the late leader's girlfriend, Marta Fascina, herself a senior member of Forza Italia in the lower house. Forza Italia's prospects will depend on these three women. They and the party's supporters will be key to whether Berlusconi's political legacy is able to survive into the future. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.